Well, you know, um, one of the other very impressive things about you has always been that you um, work with these big iconic stars and oftentimes you've worked with them before they become big and iconic. But one of the things I love about you is, baby, you tell it like a T.I. is. You call it the way you see it and you don't hold back. And because of that, you have clashed with some of the celebrities that you've worked with. And there have been times when you've had to take a bow and step out of the situation. Um, what is there any celebrity that you have worked with and, and specifically any of the ones that you've really helped groom and really kind of helped blossom? Because I was around you during the Lady Gaga era and, and I remember how hard you worked on really helping her create a full, a fully realized stage presentation, something that wasn't just her uh, standing there and singing really well because she has a beautiful voice, obviously, but you really helped her um you know, kind of bring her, her vision or, or perhaps maybe you fed that vision to her. Um, what's your take on, 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 on that? You know, Bev and we're family and it's, I mean, you and I are family. So I understand that you watched your sister, you know, fight the good fight for someone mm-hmm. else. And that is what I love to do, you know, as a visionary, there's a period in time where I have to hold the vision strong enough so then everyone can see it, realize it, and now become a fan of it. So did I fight harder for her in those places where people did not believe? Yes. That was my job. That's part of my gift. Was I disappointed? Was I hurt? Was I almost broken when there was a lack of the ability to recognize it or help me so that I could continue to eat? and live and exist off of my gift, yes, yes. We trust people when they are down. We give when there is no one else applauding because that is the road of a visionary. Do you hope that people tell the right narrative, tell the truth? Yes, because you want to go on, be able to eat, pay your bills. This is a business. Yes. So, yes, I was hurt devastated. But like in the book, I talk about step four, which is staying in your yes. Mm -hmm. And Bevy, at that moment when I was let down by Gaga's team and and, and, and a a number of other artists, because the industry is a beast within itself. And if you buy into it, you become a different person. So in that moment, I had to fight to stay in my yes. And I talk about it in chapter four because everyone faces that type of adversity. Yeah? I'm also yeah. unafraid to talk about the fight, Bevy, to the dream. You know, some artists get big and everybody gets famous and they don't want to talk about the fight. I want to talk about the fight because I want people to know there will be a fight, but you are mm-hmm. better and bigger than that fight. So I want to arm people with the knowledge of it so when they're on the road to their dream, they understand when the fight faces them that I give them insight how to win, but also a place of communion where they Mm. can identify when I was curled up in the corner crying like a baby. And and how did Lorianne get through it, that she did get through it. So there's evidence of getting through it. And that is why I really wanted people to understand what I went through, not just to, 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 to expose anything, but to really give them insight so that they can know how to fight through their own trials and tribulations. 